Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. And today, I'm going to be doing the 90++ node on the most recent Halloween Rebellion event that's currently going on, and telling you about my specific experience with it. So the last time I did a video talking about like, oh, I can't wait to figure out and figure out something with the 90++ event and trying to find the right team for it, uh, I was never able to find the right team. I think there is a right way of making a team because it seems like you have to make use of the event shop's ease that they give you um, and kind of configure the right team that can use it at right different intervals and then go in there. Or maybe you can just <laughs> do what I'm about to do, which is much easier, which is slap a unit with the Black Grail and just not worry about the fight mechanic at all. So yeah, that's what I, I went with the latter because I'm running out of time to record stuff. <laughs> And I've been super busy with work, so I just don't have the time to actually dedicate myself to trying to find the right proper team. So that's the team I'm going to use today. And this is my basic way of saying, um, this, this, this note specifically, it beat me. There's like no easy way of saying it, but it beat me. Um, this is a personal thing, obviously. I, I don't know how you like to play the game. Feel free to tell me how you play it. But this is the way I've been able to play it. And obviously, I'm not saying this is the right way of playing it. It's the way I like to play it. Which is usually for event CEs, I don't actually like to use the Black Grail a whole bunch. I like to use all six CEs, mainly because it maximizes farming, but also because I like the idea of just like, hey, in theory, as long as you used, um, as, depending on MP copies though, in theory, anyone could use this team because it shows clearly everything that you're using here is just stuff that you would normally grind and you're not doing stuff like using kaleidoscope to get a free 100% mp on turn one or you're not using the black rail for a crazy power boost or anything like that um so that's the reason why i typically like to play that way but because this event has been so annoying for multiple reasons as i'm about to go in this is the team i have right here which the easy it says arts team but this is honestly the team that i use whenever i don't want to think anymore <laughs> So the reason that this is possible is 100% is because of this Summer Ibuki that I have. She has the Black Rail, which is max limit broken. Thanks to the, all the Black Rails I've gotten through the years, I only have a single max uh, limit broken Black Rail, but that's okay. I only need one, and I'm happy to get it. I think I got it, like, maybe last year or so. I don't remember, but your life definitely changes when you have the max limit broken Black Rail. Um, all her skills are at 10, that's a given, but the only pen skill that she has right now is the second one. And her Noble Phantasm is at 5. Now, when I actually went to go look for, um, how some other people had done it after I had, because I was really curious to see, like, okay, what have other people been doing? Because I ended up just giving Black Rail to Summer Ibuki after someone made a comment saying, like, hey, if you have a Babo Sif at decent level you can give her the black grail and then you can kind of go in there from uh flaming uh gelato she he was bringing it up or they were bringing it up or saying that summer anastasia or maybe even using berserker kentucky and they're like oh my god that reminds me i just can just put this on summer abuki <laughs> because she's mp5 and not deal with it um and some of the other teams i saw some other people using i did see the morgan and babo sif team i saw the another person using summer abuki who was around np level two but they were all using basically the black grail so she's going to be using it this is the other team castoria for the, the for the team up and oberon at the end there i feel like there's probably another support you could use instead of oberon um but he gives 70 percent np charge so that's good enough and at this point honestly i just want to get grinding on this event done um because i'm about to go on vacation and i need to make this as easy as possible for me and this is the easiest team that i have so at a certain point i have to just swallow my pride and be like well if i feel bad i don't feel bad about using this team i feel bad about um showing other people this team and saying like hey this is what i had to do to to beat it <laughs> um mainly because this is obviously like so far away from what most free-to-play players would ever be able to run at any given point and i do like to think about them occasionally when i'm making a video but what i'll say is that this summer buki even though she is mp5 she was technically free to play because i got her with the 300 plus tickets and if you want proof of that you can go to the video where I did it, and then uh, I didn't get her MP5 in that video, but off screen I did nothing but use tickets that I got from the event, and she eventually got to um, MP5 that way, and I was like, oh my god, 
this is the greatest. <laughs> this is this is this feels amazing, which is why I'm also saving up for a uh, summer. Um, summer air goggles, so I can do the same at some point. So let me go here. And yeah, and funny enough, even though there's plenty of I do like to use other teams, I'm really in such a, a time crunch that like I don't have to justify myself. I'm like actively putting myself down for using this, where I'm like, no, if I didn't want to use this team, I didn't get a Buki MP5 to not use it. <laughs> I'd feel bad about it. If anything else, I can always just say like, hey, for anyone else curious to see what an MP5 Summer Buki looks like, it looks a lot like this. And she deals 1,290,000 damage to those three dudes, and then you get to these Taj, uh, uh, Tanji twins, or whatever their name is. See, this is why I'm saying, like, I don't think I need Oberon for this specifically, because she has, like, 97. So I would, I just need someone who can give a slight power boost and also 20% from this, and then someone who gives her the last bit there. But anyway, and just to show it, I can show what she looks like when she's not doing this. But she should be able to do over 700,000 damage, no problem with her Noble Phantasm. I think she'll probably do... Because I forgot to use the extra Master spell, she'll probably do a little bit less. Let's see. Yeah, no, no, she she, she did. She did, she did just, just fine there. Um, so yeah. And I don't know about you guys. Tell me how you feel about this specific node. I liked grinding the other ones a whole bunch. The, uh, the previous two 90 plus plus ones. But this one I feel like... I'm not feeling it the same way. It might just be because it's... The other ones were at least... Um... One, two, one. But this one has been one, three, and one. And I think these are much more annoying to actually deal with. Um... And I think I might just, in general, not have that many amazing archers, now that I think about it. Like, the, my, my best archer that I have is actually also an MP5 unit, which is Summer Artoria, and she was not enough to get it done. Mainly because it was that node there in the... She could probably get it done with this, actually, now that I think about it. Um, but the thing she couldn't get done is the middle portion where you have to fight like multiple dudes and that's the th part where it's like she could take down two dudes if I got lucky and had a um, a specific person in the middle then I could do something fun like using summer using um, summer saber and then maybe bringing in someone else to lock in her cards or maybe change her cards on the fly to make it so she is viable in that kind of scenario then but I don't I don't I don't have that so it's this one it's it really do I really do feel like this one is the is the killer in all this. Oh, did I not get enough? Did I forget to? I might have forgotten. It's all right. It's not it's not the biggest of deals. It just means that she will deal significantly less damage on the final node. It's fine. If I cared that much, I would just give my Castoria a the MP charge shoot in Z. But it's fine, because this team is able to do it no no problem. Which you can see from right here. Like, this, this is no issue. So yeah, I kept trying to think of, like, there has to be some other ways. I even tried to think of there was a way if I could take it down with Arush in the first... In the first node, and just have him blow himself up, and that way I would have access to other units and making it a little bit easier for me that way but i just couldn't figure out like the right the, like the jigsaw puzzle wasn't puzzling right and i've also been a little bit tired as i've been editing multiple videos getting a multiple stuff done getting planning everything and then also thinking about some other stuff that we have to worry about it's near the end of the month so i also have to think about what comes up afterwards uh, of course you didn't kill like i said your the castoria mp is really important but it's all right you're dead now so uh, yeah, but this is my basic way of saying, like, hey, I, I, I figured out a way. <laughs> the answer was very simple, and the answer was just use su my Summer Ibuki and hit it with the Black Grail. Even though in my head, I'm like, I know you don't want to really use the Black Grail. I know you want to just use it all. I want. I know you want to just use all grind seeds, but is it really worth it? And especially because this event itself is so goddamn long. Does it actually matter? <laughs> Does the plus one to whatever stupid thing that you were gonna get, did it really matter at the end of the day? I don't think so. So, I, what matters most is that I have a team that can successfully do it. And funny enough, even though I'm saying all this, I had a team that could successfully do the previous one, and 
it's around the same drop rates, I think. It's like not that much of a difference. Like if I really cared <laughs> that much to use more different teams, I would just use that one instead. But no, instead I'm like, no, it has to be the highest one. It's like, it doesn't have to be the highest one. Only because in your head you've convinced yourself, like, no, it has to be this way, it has to be this way, it has to be this way. Are you making it this way? So, there's an insight into my mind. I hope you have had a better time. If you've had success doing weird different teams, feel free to tell me about them. I would love to hear how other people have been doing it. Or if they're even doing it. Is this one of the ones where they just skipped it? Like, I feel weird because I really want to use... The Liz, but I feel like the Liz just wasn't like, even with the 100% damage increase, she just wasn't getting it done the way I wanted to. Because specifically, she wasn't able to buff the dudes who had to use a single target on the first turn. It's like it wasn't enough. <laughs> so, unless she had the ability to also disappear after using it in some kind of capacity, then it was just a no go, unfortunately. But, you know, it is what it is. And this is the final one. So, Mabuki, take us out of here. Can you make a big old splash here? Can this be a high-level splash? Here we go. Man, I love Sonobuki so much. Thank you so much. It's, it rocks when the character that you like actually has a sick-ass unit. <laughs> and then you can just use them <laughs> to destroy absolutely everything. And you're just like, man, this is great. I get to just use them. I I hope to have the same experience whenever Cuckoo comes out and I can use them to the full ex ex extent possible. But that's future plans. That's around New Year's plans. But anyway, let me quickly collect this. I'm at... Let's see, my stamina is gone, so there's really no point for me to continue on. I really want to save everything for the... The Naito grind, so now that I'm at the end of the event, it's just kind of like slow grinding from here on out, and I'm fine with that. Like, occasionally getting some QP stuff and getting some other stuff from here. I have to eventually go in there and do some of the job stuff as well. Man, I forgot how many of these I had. To, I had to wait until I got higher progress in them, but now that I'm in them, I should probably go in here and do them. Because <laughs> there's some good stuff in here. But anyway... That's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to tell me how you've been doing. I should still have some more videos coming out, some more Fago ones, and some more non Fago ones. It's a great time if you care about my non Fago stuff, um, even though <laughs> the percentage of people who care is very skewed to being like, I actually just prefer to stay with the Fago ones, but I don't care. I like doing those because I like having a whole bunch of fun with friends. And plus, it's the spooky season. Who doesn't love the spooky season? There's also a longer video that I have planned to do. Probably something to plan for when I'm gone so that no one, I don't have to read the comments of people who disagree with me. Because it's more of a rant style thing. But anyway, that's the end of this video, everyone. Until next time, I wish you guys all the best of luck. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.